we're busy prepping for eating contest, okay? So today, I'm feeling ambitious. We order, I don't know, like maybe 6 kg worth of fish and chips. I don't know if I can do this, but we'll try. Okay, good afternoon, people. Today, we are at Sing Po's, Tangling Po's office, okay? I'm not here to mail something or collect something. I'm here to do fish and chips. A few of you guys requested for fish and chip video. And a few of you guys actually recommended this place. They call themselves the best fish and chip in Singapore. And they are voted by some like radio station saying that they are the best in, in Singapore. So we're gonna try it out. Uh, I always wanted to do fish and chip challenge for the longest time. I know there's a few fish and chips that are really good in Singapore. I heard of them before. Okay, they started off from hawker and then now evolved to a restaurant. I think the hawker store is called Let and Dad. Now it's called Let and Co. Anyways, we head in first. Talk a bit. I like their fresco dining area. We head in first, we talk a bit inside. Come on, come You know how to tell whether a restaurant is good or not? Eh? You look at the size of their menu, their menu is very small. Usually it's good. Because if their food is bad and they serve only very little items, it's doomed. I'm looking at their fish and chip, which is what you guys recommend. The beer battered haddock fish and chip. Okay, I'm gonna get that one. I'm gonna get a few items. Maybe a bit of oysters, nugget, uh, a bit of scampies. You guys recommended scampies as well. Scotch egg. Because I have never tried scotch eggs all my life. It's gonna be a simple meal. But we see how this goes. I'm gonna get the guy to come. Can we order? So maybe we get like 15 serving of this and then maybe like four serving of scotch egg. Four of this and four of this as well. You should sure order so much. It's okay, it's okay. I today quite hungry. Oh my god. Okay, so we got this, uh, I ordered a whole bunch of stuff. Order until like maybe over order already. A lot of things I want to try. And so long since I last had fish and chip. This entire mana, I think this is the second video I filmed, food challenge. Because we're busy prepping for eating contest, okay? So today, I'm feeling ambitious. We order, I don't know, like maybe 6 kg worth of fish and chips. I don't know because everything is deep fried here. So I don't know if I can do this, but we'll try. We'll see how this goes. I got scotch egg, I got Scampi, their scampi doesn't look like scampi because it looks big, massive. Their fish are also very massive. The size of my face. How big is thing? Okay, but anyways, we're gonna dig in. Okay, I'm gonna start already. Huh? Okay, let's go, let's go. Okay, I'm very excited because I heard this is the fi best fish and chip in town. Oh, look at that. Okay, let's go. I'm gonna go in without a sauce. Though. I have no intention of flying through it. I initially I want to go fast, but this is so good. Okay, I'm gonna do it the regular way. Just add a bit of this. Bit of lemon. This is not crispy. This is crunchy. The sauce is so good though. 100% handmade, like homemade. Uh. I've never tasted this kind of tartar sauce before. I could tell why they are the best really. Everything is very on point. The fish is firm, even though it's heavily battered, but it still, it feels light. No, the tartar sauce is life changing. Eh. If they sell this tartar sauce, I'll buy it. Okay. Let's try some other stuff as well. I call it shrimp. I don't think it's scampi. Eh? It's way bigger than scampi. This is like my amma, you know? When she cook, when she cook this kind of shrimp for me, eh? like coat the flour, everything nicely. And then the shrimp is still very nice and bouncy. Mm. 
Yeah, for those that are wondering, uh, scampi are way smaller than this. Uh. I could probably eat the tail also because it's that crunchy. Right. I'm gonna do it the the OG way. I'm gonna do it with salt and vinegar. I'm gonna, I'm gonna eat one more first. Yeah. I try I try the curry first because the curry is very near me. Okay, they provide curry sauce as well. Uh. Looks a bit like the Japanese curry. Uh. I don't know how it's gonna taste. Uh. Mm. It does taste like Japanese curry. It's not spicy at all. Really tastes like the Japanese curry one. You go to a Japanese curry store. Right? Mm. Guys, so for those that are wondering uh, why they provide curry, uh, okay? Actually, for the northern part of UK, right? Like Scotland, Manchester, all those areas, right? They will actually provide uh, curry sauce. I've never like tried eating fish and chips in Korea. This is my first time, uh, and it's incredible. It's just so good. I give you guys all the combination. Uh. You got 15 pieces to try. Yeah, yeah, yeah. A bit of vinegar. A bit of salt. Salt and vinegar. This is the OG way of eating it. Uh. The original way. Uh. This is the best way of eating it. Oh, I, I didn't thought it would taste so good. You must use milk vinegar, okay? Not just the... Use the, the white color one that we always use. <laughs> the Han Pan Kang, okay? The vinegar has a bit of that barley taste, you know? And it adds on, it cuts the grease. I'm not sure about the salt, la. I, I don't need the salt, but well, with the vinegar, just nice. Hands down, vinegar is the best way to eat. I, I cannot agree more. I thought I would enjoy the curry, but then the, the tartar sauce and the vinegar blew me away. The thing about this store is really, this restaurant uh, is really because everything is very well balanced. It's not just like one thing that stood out. Not like the fish is fresh, the batter, the batter is light, not oily, everything. It's just a combination of everything harmonized together. Very, very nice. Okay, wait, I need to try their scotch egg. This is something I've never tried before. But I understand that they also sort of like tweak it a bit to adjust to the local palate because uh, the inside is runny. The actual scotch eggs, right, inside is not runny. Eh? Usually how they eat scotch eggs, eh? they eat it on its own or they dip it into something. Eat it on its own. Eh? Oh, wow. It tastes like a, you know, breakfast sausage, the McDonald's breakfast muffin sausage, right? Taste something like that, and then with a runny egg, it's like, oh wow, it, it just tastes like something very breakfasty to me. It's good though. It's really good, but this is heavy though. Normal person that cannot eat much. I think two eggs, gone already. Although I look a bit relaxed, huh? I'm not relaxed. Huh? I am perspiring like mad, not because it's hot or what. They have a very nice outdoor alfresco place. Very cooling and all. I'm sweating because of meat sweats. Uh. I'm going to dig into the coleslaw to switch my palate a bit. But all the fried stuff is... Whew. It's normal coleslaw. I wouldn't say it's like best coleslaw. Normal. I'm excited to try the mushy piece later. I probably would not eat the oysters. I'll try a few for you guys. That one is order for Steven. I, I, I'm still afraid of... I'm still afraid of oysters up till now. Still having that PTSD. Okay. So this, they actually founded back in 2014, uh, which is actually the year that I started competitive eating. Uh. Back in 2014, back in UK actually. And then they came back to Singapore and they started a hawker store. And then right, from then on, it's all the way there. In Serangoon, right? Uh, Serangoon all the way there. And then eventually they evolved uh, into a bistro first. And then now this one is a sister company called Let Co. I have never tried the, the ones, uh, the previous one at the hawker. I heard from you guys that it's very good, uh, but I've never tried. But today, it's really good. It's good, but it's very shock. I am not kidding. This one is shock. Nobody in the right mind will try 6 kg of fish and chips. Their chips is really good. Uh. They got two types, uh, two types of chips for you. Uh. One is the OG one, uh, which is this kind of, uh, the flat one, uh, which is a bit more, you feel more potato, uh, more artisanal. This one uh, is like, it's coated one. Tastes a bit like the Long John Silver kind of fries. This one tastes more artisanal. Uh. Tastes more like the, you know, the, you can taste a lot of potatoes. Uh. Both is very good. 
Oh, I just thought I asked. They are Tata sauce, right? Inside got put gherkin. This is where that, that nice sour tone came from. Okay, this one, fried oyster. I'm still a bit afraid of oysters now. And I still want to try that, so I got some for him. But I try one first, see how it tastes. Try mm. nice. Give it I try. Last piece of fish. Done. <sighs> Lady, I'm a contest prepping. Even though I'm on season now, this is rough. This is very rough. Okay, guys. Uh, I'm not gonna lie. This one is rough. Like it cuts the like the roof of my mouth, the bottom of my mouth, like everywhere. When you eat fish and chip, this will not happen. But when you eat so much, right? This kind of thing will happen, but it's very, very good, very, very enjoyable. Like, I satisfy all my, all kinds of fish and chip craving one shot. Like, like one shot really, like, I feel good and all. Okay, anyways, there's a lot of different variation when it comes to fish and chip. This one, right, is really the, it's really the authentic UK style. Big fish, uh, airy batter, not too oily. And then it's very, like, like I mentioned earlier, the batter is, is thick, but the thing is, it feels, it feels light. So when you eat, right, you won't feel very gelat and all. My go-to recommendation is still the this one, the vinegar with the with the salt. This is really the hundred percent like my go-to way, lah. Really, today usually I don't usually I just go with tada, but today I, I really love this combination. Okay, anyways, you guys will find this place, right? Earlier when I came, I drove to the wrong place. I drove to Tangling Mall. It's not at Tangling Mall. It's not inside, ah. It's opposite Tangling Mall. This place is called the uh, Tangling Singapore Post Office. There's a building here, lah. Very nice, cozy area. I like the vibes. It's like, even though it's in Tao, it's sort of the like escape the very buzzing area. It's like nested here, lah. Very, very nice. Okay, so uh, the staff here is very friendly. I, I enjoy this place and I enjoy this experience. Big thank you for those that actually recommended this place. Uh, truly enjoy this experience. Can get the scampi, the big scampi, the, the shrimp. Definitely can get the fish and chip. Uh, scotch eggs are good as well. I didn't get to try the banger and mash lah, but I will probably come back next time to try. Okay, uh, the oysters are good as well. I I'm still afraid of oysters now lah, so I'm still having that PTSD, but the oysters are good as well. Okay, all in all, very enjoyable experience. Again, I'm at Let & Co. Uh, come and check them out. We come to the end of this video. I am back on season already. I'm ready to take on this Sunday's contest. Ready to kick ass. Okay, but anyways, that's it. I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye. Your mouth should be empty.